As I think back through the years, I have been so fortunate to have so many good teachers and mentors uh, in my life, but one of the ones that I think of first is back in seventh and eighth grade, a teacher I had, her name was Eva Horan, Mrs. Horan, and uh, she collected a group of students, very diverse group of students, all of whom had one thing in common. We were super curious and capable of doing much more than the school where we were attending was asking of us. And she just challenged us with so many different ways of looking at the world, of reading things that were beyond what any of us had read at that point. I remember my assignment was the Count of Monte Cristo, and she asked us to do 10 pages, a 10-page essay on whatever it was that we were reading. That was unheard of at that time, 7th, seventh, seventh, eighth grade for us. And so she challenged us, which was good for me. I had grown up in a very narrow, focused bubble of a world, very parochial, and so to expand my world and learn how much of a bigger world there was, she was amazing that way. And then the other thing that she did was she recommended me to an academically rigorous high school program that had not existed previously in our, our city. And I would not be the person I am today without that exposure, without learning how to think critically and read deeply and write and construct an argument and so many skills that I rely on today that came because she saw something in me and brought it out, and I'm so grateful for her.